My love for Dune started way back in those Command and Conquer glory days when, you know, just around that time we got our hands on Dune 2000, if you remember Dune 2000. This was kind of my first personal experience with Dune and the Dune universe. And uh, basically since that time, I, I, I loved that game. Anytime I think of Dune, it's a positive thought because I had such a good time playing that game and, and getting my first experience of the Dune universe. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about Dune Awakening, and I'm going to let you know whether you should be hyped for the game, this new survival MMO, whether you should be hyped or whether it's just another game that belongs in the waste pipe. For those who are not aware yet, Dune Awakening is looking to combine both PvE and PvP together in, the, in a new persistent open world survival MMO. You'll be able to build, quest, fly, <laughs> drive, trade, and most importantly, fight over the control of spice as a big fan of anything that sits in the mmo genre june has really piqued my interest so recently invent global got an interview with joel the creative director and what we're going to do is we're going to run through this interview i'm going to try and give you uh, basically a tldr of everything so we'll give you the question on screen and then i'll basically summarize the answer for you are you planning to officially launch the game in south korea by localizing the content into Korean. There's been no confirmation yet, but they have published games in Korea in the past, so there is a chance that they will be publishing Dune Awakening in Korea. How is the game's universe established compared to the original novel and the recent movie? Visually, players will recognize the resemblance from the movies and the books, but they have actually set the game in its own time frame so that they can have a bit more freedom when it comes to, you know, shaping the world and allowing the players to shape the world. What was your focus when bringing the IP into the game? So they said there will be a big focus on capturing the feeling of being in June. How does it feel when you harvest spice? How does it feel when you have to deal with water discipline? And of course, that amazing feeling when crossing the sands, knowing that there may be a sandworm close by. It sounds like they really want to make you feel like you feel when you watch the movies or read the books. Please share how the development experience from previous Funcon games, Anakin Online, Age of Conan, for example, has reflected you in building Dune Awakening. Funcom shared that they have had huge success with Conan Exiles, which is actually something that, if you guys have been watching the stream, we've been playing recently and genuinely had good fun. They mentioned about bringing knowledge from these other games to make sure that there is a good player exchange and good game loops for the players to enjoy. Now, if you guys have watched me and watched the content recently, you know, we're kind of playing New World at the moment, have been for a while. Once we get to Endgame, it's a little bit stale. So I'm really hoping that that's what they're talking about here understanding game loops especially once you get to end game to keep these players engaged in your game is very very important where can we find the characteristics of mmorpg in june awakening so they're going to be going for this sort of classical mmo feeling but with this sandbox world building philosophy so essentially you can build bases you can customize them you'll be able to either explore alone or as a small group or as a larger group explore together essentially you will be able to build and you better have advancing technology basically by a via powerful schematics uh, as well as an as well as what they've called an imprint system which allows you to define your own playstyle. now i know that this relates to spice if you have more spice in your system <laughs> then you can learn more skills and advance your player I'm looking forward to learning a bit more about that particular part. How are the features of the open world applied in this game? So the main twist with Dune Awakening is the Coriolis, Corili, Coriolis, Coriolis, Coriolis storms. Oh, I'm forever going to say that wrong because basically what they're going to do is they're going to alter the map outside of what's called the shield wall, outside of the main town, which we believe is going to be the, one of the big PVE hubs. So we're not ex we're not sure exactly how this is going to work in terms of game mechanics. Maybe some of you guys played Last Oasis and you could see how they, I think they called it Shifting Sands. Essentially, the maps would expire. We, we don't know exactly how it's going to work in Dune Awakening, but I'm going to assume that there'll be some sort of wipe mechanics if you were building outside of the shield wall. Again, not, so, not sure if you can build inside the shield wall, outside of the shield wall. We're going to assume outside of the shield wall is the sands, is the 
the more pvp zone the more harsh environment which is gonna at some point have the storm and wipe everything that's there again we're not sure exactly how this is gonna work but i absolutely love the idea of this and the last question here how are the key resources such as water and spice utilized in the game so both water and spice are an absolute huge part of june essentially it's it's the heart of june so you can use equipment such as the still suits to aid with water and water is actually required to perform industrial crafting in the later game obviously if you've watched the movies or read the books you will know a bit more about the still suits you can actually go and google it now and it, it's actually quite cool um essentially it, it harvests your sweat and allows you to consume that pretty gross but fantastic <laughs> um spices spices obviously at the heart of a heart of june spice represents longevity wealth and power and the more spice you consume you'll be able to train more skills due to the mind altering effects of spice and we won't go and say what everyone's everyone's mind but you know <laughs> consume spice have a trip learn more skills kick more ass i'm going down that route <laughs> that's basically it that's the questions that i took from the interview that i thought were quite interesting there is a couple more so if you guys want to go and check it out there is a link to the interview in the description below uh, but i will be following this game closely and to answer the question does this game deserve your hype or does it belong in the waste pipe for me personally and i think for a lot of you guys june awakening is a hundred percent a game that you need to wish list and a game that you need to follow i'll be covering it more now on this channel so if you want if you want to just leave a like leave a subscribe and it's worth the hype without a doubt it's worth the hype let's hope funcom comes through with an amazing game for us to play and uh we'll see you in we'll see you in dune awakening soon i hope